so hi guys so today i'm privileged to come to a bsf farm it's nicholas's farm we are going to be taken through step by step of how uh bsf bsf for those who don't know is black soldier fly uh we will be taken through the whole factory and how it produces fertilizer that you can use in, in your farm so let's learn together I think we'll get more and better details from uh, Brian, from Brian, and accurate details so that you know what BSF is. But I have used this personally on my strawberries, and it was good. So he's going to take us through and tell us uh, what it contains, what nutrients it contains, micro, micro, uh, macronutrients, micronutrients, and let's learn together. So stay tuned. At the end of it, I'll send, I'll put Nicholas's number and details. You can visit his farm and all those things. Thank you. So Karibuni sana come with me. So hi Brian, Hello. please introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Um, my name is Brian Anenya. I am the operations director of Zihanga Limited. Uh, we work with Nicholas in this farm and we produce uh, BSF, the BSF insect, which is an alternative protein for animal feeds. And also we produce organic fertilizer. Okay. Yes. Tell us more about the organic fertilizer. So the organic fertilizer is produced by when the BSF insect eats organic waste and turns it into organic fertilizer, where the, the BSF droppings uh, are actually the fertilizer itself. So the fertilizer is very rich in an in NPK in and other nutrients like calcium, uh, other macro macronutrients, and it works very well in uh, uh, fruits like strawberry, passion, uh, works well with leafy plants like uh, skooma, spinach, uh, cabbage, um, which it works well with tomatoes and other very many other plants, like oh. you plants also. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So take us through the farm. Yes. So welcome. Thank you. Facility. Thank you. Uh, it's a bit yeah. because we are, we are still in operation. Okay. Is good. Wow. It's colorful. Yes, yes because of the kids. Yes. And so mm -hmm. here's where we rear the BSF insect. Okay. Uh, where we feed uh, the insect with organic waste and turn it into organic fertilizer. Okay. And animal protein. Okay. So as you can see here, yeah. 
we have some maggots, we have the maggots themselves. Okay. Yeah. So these wow. are the maggots. Okay. Yes. So these ones have eaten the, they've finished actually the feed. Okay. The, 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 the organic waste. Yeah. So they, they, they need to be fed again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So our facility is divided into uh, two phases. Okay. This is the incubation stage. Okay. Okay. This is where we, when we collect our eggs. Yeah. We put them here. Okay. So that they can hatch. Okay. And become uh, the larvae now. So uh, when they so like this one, this one was collected. This one was collected on, on Friday. And, uh, as you can see, these these are the eggs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see properly. So those are the eggs, but mm. these ones are hatched already. Okay. Yeah, they've already turned into insects. Mm. So this is where we incubate the eggs and they become uh, the, the, the larvae now. Mm. So one of these crates uh, serves uh, 12 of uh, the same crates when you divide them, when you divide the eggs, because they're, when they hatch, there are so many, there are millions. Okay. So you have to divide them so that they can eat properly and gain the correct, correct weight. Mm -hmm. yes. So after we incubate the eggs, we divide them into uh, this section. So like this one, this one's were, were divided uh, on Monday, as you can see. Okay. Yeah, so this is the first, first and second incident. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in BSF, we have seven instars, seven stages. We have first, second, third, fourth, until seven. So the stage where we harvest the insect uh, to become uh, insect feed, is the fifth instar, the fifth stage. That's when the protein level is high. Between, um, between 40, between 45 to 60% crude protein mm. at the 15th instar. And 16th instar is when uh, they now tend to pupate now. They become pupupes, then pupae, then now they become flies now. Okay. Yes, now the, the cycle begins the cycle, again. Okay. Yeah, when they become flies, they lay eggs. They start, start again. again. Okay. So wow. Here we've divided, uh, we have uh, first and second insta on this side. Okay. And this, on this side, we have now fourth Okay. Side, okay. We, the ones that are ready to be harvested now. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yes. This is amazing. So, do you train farmers if they are interested? Yes, we, we, offer training, we have a training program. Okay. That runs for four days. Yes. Yes. We offer training. Okay. Yes. So, I'll, I'll leave the, your numbers, yeah. details. Oh, on the description box on the screen so that they also contact you yes. wow this is amazing so at what point now do you make the organi uh, the fertilizer? fertilizer yeah now when, when the insects now eat mm -hmm. at the 14th star you know the 14th star is like they're a bit big yeah now you can now see okay so you see the fertilizer yeah then we feed again the insects okay yes. so when we walk around mm. Mm. Yeah, like this one. Mm. See this okay. one. This one's a bit big. Yeah. Yes, now this one's a fourth, fifth instar. Mm. Now when they finish the the food, yeah. Uh, the waste now, the waste comes dry. Oh, now you receive okay. them out. Okay. Uh, we separate them from the frass. Mm. Now the frass now become, we compost the frass for a month. Okay. It becomes the fertilizer now. Okay. Yes. What uh where did BSF come from? Uh BSF uh just been there. Mm. How come we didn't know? Because I think it's like a recent thing, yeah? Yes, it's a recent thing. Uh. It is not more than ten years old. Okay. Yes. Few farmers are doing it. Yeah. We are not even more than 50, I think. Okay. Yes. So, it, okay, the the ECP, I don't know if mm. you know ECP, ECP yeah. came up with the Andrew Capella Foundation. Okay. They are the ones who are running this whole thing. They did the research part, and now farmers like us are the ones who are implementing the, the research part. Okay. Yeah, and trying to find out, find out if uh, this thing is economically viable, mm. and it is. Okay. Yes. Wow. 
so people buy the BSF from you and rear them and now go through the whole process to get organic fertilizers. Yes. What other benefits is there? Of the yeah, of the of the BSF. The BSF. So uh, the BSF is you fed to uh, animals like pigs, okay. chicken, and fish. And for pigs, pigs grow faster. They tend to have more muscle than fat. Uh, and instead of them growing for, for nine months, eight, eight to nine months, they take five to six months to grow. Mm. And the meat is sweeter. Mm. Chicken and poultry, the meat is good. The quality of eggs is better. And they lay more. Okay. Their layers. Mm. And for, for fish, like tilapia, they grow 23% uh, bigger. Okay. And for catfish also. Okay. More okay. So there are a lot of benefits with the piece. Okay. So they can be fed to animals and yes. now the organic fertilizer that you sieve yes. is now for the plants. For the plants okay. Yes. Ah it's now I understand. Yes. Okay. Uh you can show me maybe now the fertilizer so that you tell me yes. what it contains. Yeah, so um before I show you the fertilizer. I'd like to show you our insect uh, facility. So this is where we produce eggs. Okay. Uh, eggs. Okay. So you can see um, uh -huh. our cages where we contain the flies. And uh, we have to put a smelly sub, uh, substrate mm. so to, att to, attract, to attract the flies to lay. Okay. Yeah, so we usually use blood and other, other substrates. Mm. Yes, so, so here is where we produce our eggs. Okay. Yes, we get uh so from the eggs now, we take the eggs up there from where, where I've shown you. Yeah. Now we incubate the eggs now. The cycle starts again. Okay. Yes. So the pupae uh -huh. are brought down here. Then they become flies now. Oh yes. okay. yes. from now stage. Yes, from that stage seven. Six, now, seven they come they back come here. here. So okay. Them in the cages, yeah. They become flies and then the, the they lay again. eggs and now the process starts yeah. again. Okay. They've already emerged. Yeah. It's gonna benefit. Does it have uh, any benefit as a shell? Or it's just the, there's research about mm -hmm. the cheating. Mm -hmm. The cheating is the, the white white uh, Substance you can see. Yeah. But uh, this is medical research. And actually, they are using. I don't know. There's some medical benefits. Okay. And also, we we are using the. We're trying to, to find other ways of utilizing this. Okay. Now it's waste. Yeah. Yes. It can't be crushed and used. Yeah. We in are the... trying to see if we can produce other ways like cricket, other products like crickets. Okay. Yes. Good. So, so this this is what is BS. This is the BSF no, line. Yeah, this is we can we can, we can put the camera inside. I don't know if you can see. Oh. Yes. But they don't sting. Yeah. No, they don't. Actually, they're, they're harmless. They're harmless. Okay. They don't even transmit diseases because oh. they don't carry pathogens. Oh, they don't. Yes, they're not like house flies. So oh. they're very. They're very Eco-friendly. They don't transmit any pathogen. Mm -hmm. So it can come on your food. Yeah. Oh. Mm. So the the cages have to be made uh, from net. Okay, the net. Mm. Uh, you can use a mosquito net, an okay. mosquito net. Okay. And also for the cages, you can also use wood. Oh. Yeah, this one we use metal just for for longevity. Okay, yeah, because the project will be here for, for long. long time. Yeah. But you can start small. Yeah. yeah start How many are here roughly? We have uh, hundred cages. Okay. We are using five currently. Okay. Yes. Wow, this is amazing, and it's amazing because you're a young person. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, sorry. In every time. Mm -hmm. Uh, so here is where we put the fertilizer to compost it for a month so that it becomes ready. So as you can see, it can show the, mm. the, the it's not very fire. visible. The, uh, darkness, mm. Uko. yeah, but I think on the zone, yeah, mm. Mm. yeah. 
And fun fact, it has no smell. Yeah, it, has, it doesn't have any smell. <laughs> it has really decomposed it, Kabisa. Yeah, Kabisa. Mm. Yeah, it's very good for your plants. Yeah. Works very well, very, very well. Yeah, we talk to Janaya too, Apa. To Yone, Apa, Inja Vizuri. Eh, Eka Kwa Kijiko. Eh. <laughs> oh, zita kuja? Ah, ah ina shida. Yeah. Yeah. the farm. Yeah. This is the best. I know it has no smell. It has no smell. Mm. It has no smell. Uh huh. So tell me about the inse- organic insect fertilizer. So the organic insect fertilizer mm. is a product is produced by the Black Social Bank. Yeah. And uh, we've tried and tested it at the University of Nairobi. Yes. The results were very good. They were excellent. Mm. We've uh, given it out to various farmers, like strawberry, nyanya, uh, kills, uh, vegetables, uh, also maize. We've tested it with, with a lot of uh, crops, and most of them, if not all of them, worked very well. Yes, they had excellent results. Yes. Uh, if you go to m- most of the strawberry farmers, they'll tell you that uh, the insect grass, the ones that who have, who have used it, it worked very well. It produced a lot of a lot of runners, um, fruits, the fruits. The size of the fruits became bigger, and the, the color of the, the leaves was greener. So it, it works very well. Okay, what's the composition of NPK? So our NPK, uh, we're currently at, at two to two. Yeah. Uh, micro, have, uh, micro nutrients. Have, uh, like calcium, we have a one that has thick, the recent one that we, we have, and we are working on having one that has five to two, uh, two five two, uh, two two five. Okay. This NPK. Okay. Yes. So it can be used uh, on any fruit, any vegetable. Yes. Okay. Yes. You can use it on things and just put a small. Like yeah, how, yeah, I wanted to ask the application. Yes, yeah, so the application is either 30 to 50 grams okay. or 100 a handful. Yeah, like this, okay. To a plant. Okay. Because if you put more, you can burn the plant. Okay. Yeah, because it has very high nutrients. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yes. And also, mm-hmm. one thing uh, I can tell you if you use it on your soil, if your soil has a problem uh, with um, like water retention and things like that. The condition of the soil in general. Yeah. It's it, uh, it's like it. Uh, what's the word? It renews your soil. Okay. Yes. The soil condition becomes very good. Mm. Yes. Even if, when you go to plant, you see you notice there's a change in okay. your soil uh, texture. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We carbonize, carbonize them. Okay. Wow. Yes. So who buys briquettes or who can use briquettes? Anyone can use briquettes. Okay. Uh, maybe hotels, okay. Uh, schools. So it uh, is safer than burning charcoal. trees to to get charcoal, yes. right? It depends on the environment. Yeah, true. Uh, it's safer mm. because you don't inhale those toxins. Yes. Like yeah. Uh, any family is actually yeah. cheaper than uh, and okay. Yes. How much? How much do you sell the briquettes for? Yes. Okay. Yeah, than charcoal. So true. So you, on, you only need a little. Yeah. Yeah. Charcoal. Charcoal burns for like less than an hour. Yeah. This one's two for three hours. Okay. So what's that? That machine? So this is a carbonizing drum. Okay. So we use it to carbonize that waste that are available. Yeah. Uh, then the other waste that we cannot use. So it's oh. it's put inside. So yeah, we put them inside. Uh-huh. We light the fire. Yeah. And now uh, because carbonizing is not like burning things from outside. Okay. We need to need to burn at a at a slow speed. Okay. So when you're burning charcoal. Okay. So It has to be in like a uh, syringe core form. No, it no. can't be uh, other, 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 other shapes. Okay. Other yeah. If you are working on, you are working on uh, this is a 
manual machine. Okay. Yeah, so you can uh, start on fine. Yeah. You can start on instant. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about the charcoal balls. Now the charcoal balls. Yeah. Uh, we normally use them to uh, put in seeds, tree seeds. Yeah. Seeds, uh, yeah seeds, so that uh, when you plant the seed, number one, insects or uh, pests cannot even even um, rodents cannot eat the seed because it's, it's already covered. Number two, when you water the seed, you don't need a lot of water. Because the 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 forest coverage. Yeah. yeah we, also want, we also want to uh, impact in, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our own small way. Small yeah, way. so true. Thank you so much for your time, Brian. We have learned a lot. A lot. We are impressed that you are a young person. I have one more question. Yes. One more burning question. <laughs> does agriculture pay or does agribusiness pay? Agribusiness pays. Mm -hmm. um, Is it a quick Quick get money scheme. No, no, no. <laughs> Should it be added it. to a thousand ways to die? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Yeah. But if you do it right. Yeah. And if you're patient enough. Yeah. It will pay. Okay. Yes, it will eventually. Pay. Do it right. Be patient. Be patient. It's going to pay. And be consistent. And be consistent. Thank you.